Hi dear students, welcome to my channel. This video is useful for 8th standard onwards. Keep watching. Okay students, today what we are going to discuss is what is time of ascent? What is time of descent? What is the maximum height reached by a projectile? What is the range? This four topics we will discuss okay in the previous class i discussed about projectile motion no? you are throwing a ball like this it is following the path like this no so it is going like this and falling correct okay. so time of ascent means time taken by the projectile to reach the maximum height it is going like this no so when it reaches the maximum height how much time it is taken that is time of ascent similarly time of descent is time taken by the projectile from the maximum height to the ground so when you are throwing like this it is reaching the maximum height after that it is coming back to the ground no so the time taken by this projectile to travel from maximum height to the ground this is time of descent okay so what is the maximum height that is simple when you are throwing this particle it is reaching like this like this no like this so it is reaching maximum height here no this is the from the ground what is the maximum height it is reached that we have to collect okay next range what is meant by range range means total horizontal displacement traveled by the projectile in time of flight time of flight i did not tell you time of flight means time taken by this particle to land back means total time spent by the projectile in the air means you are throwing like this no it is going 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 and coming back here okay from here to here it is simply time of ascent plus time of descent that is called time of flight okay so in the time of flight so in the time of flight it is traveling some horizontal displacement no that is called range range of a projectile okay now you keep forward means see forward you will understand how to derive an equation for time of ascent time of descent time of flight maximum height and range okay keep watching forward okay students this is class number 27 for projectile time of ascent ta time taken by the projectile to reach maximum height okay you see this graph x axis y axis one particle is projected with initial velocity u with angular projection theta so it is following this parabola path okay as it is moving up the y component of velocity decreasing at maximum height that is at b the y component of velocity becomes zero okay so time of ascent means we are finding time to travel from a to b in the figure you got it no so which kinematic equation is suitable v equal to u plus a t u is initial velocity v is final velocity okay along y axis this kinematic equation becomes like this vy equal to uy plus ayt this vy is y component of final velocity uy is y component of initial velocity this uy equal to u sin theta already i explained in the previous videos a y is equal to minus g this is along negative y direction that is why it is minus at maximum height time taken t is equal to time of ascent t a then y component of final velocity becomes zero v y equal to zero these two will substitute in the kinematic equation this is y component of final velocity 0 no 0 equal to 
u sin theta minus gta gta equal to u sin theta ta is equal to u sin theta by g this ta is time of ascent so time of ascent is equal to u sin theta divided by g this is time of flight tf total time spent by the projectile in the air that is called time of flight okay see here time of flight means time taken by the particle to travel from a to c so it is starting from y coordinate 0 and it is landing back again y coordinate is 0 means initial y coordinate yi the final y coordinate yf is 0 you got it now and time of descent means time taken by the particle to move from b to c this is from magma height to ground you understand now first we will solve time of flight okay we will use second kinematic equation we can find out you have seen the graph now so which kinematic equation is suitable to solve this problem i prefer second kinematic equation that is yf is equal to yi plus uy into t plus half ay t square this yf is final position of the particle along y direction yi is initial position of the particle along the y direction this ui ay already you know for t is equal to tf time of flight the y coordinate means the final position of the particle that is y coordinate is zero because it is reaching the ground now initially it is started from origin so y i equal to zero means initial position of the particle along the y direction is y i equal to zero u y is equal to u sin theta and a y is equal to minus g okay we will substitute this okay after substituting zero this is y f equal to zero this is y i initial position of the particle along y direction plus u sin theta into time tf minus of g tf square then we will simplify u sin theta into tf is equal to of g tf square this tf this square will go out no so what left out u sin theta is equal to of g into tf okay so from this we can find out tf tf is time of flight tf time of flight is equal to 2 u sin theta by g okay now we will find out time of descent time of descent means time taken by the projectile to reach the ground from the maximum height okay we know that time of flight is equal to time of ascent plus time of descent so time of descent we want time of descent is equal to time of flight minus time of ascent time of flight 2u sin theta by g minus time of ascent u sin theta by g okay so time of descent is equal to u sin theta by g okay so time of ascent is equal to time of descent i hope you understand okay students the most important thing what you have to do is just watching this video is not enough you write down the notes whatever i have given and practice at least two times then only you will get the perfection the perfection is most important okay thanks for watching this video please like this video and share this video
and subscribe my channel and tap the bell icon to get the notification for further uploads of my videos. Okay? Till next video. Bye bye Tata. Enjoy every moment of your life.